We are really so grateful for the different grassroots leaders and our Member of Parliament, Dr. Teo Ho Pin, who has uh, blessed us with this uh, facility so that we can have a place whereby we can actually reach out to our youths. We thank them for their support and their partnership uh, as we hope to reach out to them in the community as well as for the kids to come and enjoy our place. So I hope that through this uh, youth hub, we are able to have many activities which will attract a lot of youth to come over to the centre and from there they can form interest groups, you know, they can take ownership and champion various activities not in Bulu Panjang. So over here in Fajar Youth Hub, we aim to mentor the next generation. How do we do that? We start with the three E's as a strategy. First E is engage. Engaging them through our activities, our monthly specials, our camps, our programs and giving them a space to connect with their peers. Secondly, of course, is to equip the next E. Equipping them with skills, equipping them with values so that they will be able to find meaning and at the same time they will also learn things and uh, cultivate their character and their personality. Of course, lastly, it is our empower. Empowering them to contribute to the society. This is a platform for them like, to be able to learn their skills and, and use their skills in, in this part of the Empower. So we give them platforms such as our Children Fest and also our Fajar opening today where they get to uh, serve as ushers and host our VIPs and our guest of honour. I personally think that the hub is like a second home to me because all the staff and in general are very friendly and easy to talk to. I just want to encourage staff that every day you come and you reach out to the different programs to our children and youth that you really are doing a very important job to just touch a life and through your ministry you reach out to the rest of Bukit Panjang by investing in our young. Yeah.